In the 60s and 70s, Frankfurt Avenue served as a major commercial corridor in Philadelphia. But in recent years, especially with the faltering economy, most neighborhood businesses have seen a decline. The Frankfurt Community Development Corporation's Main Street Initiative, led by Philadelphia native Teresa Hannes, works with local businesses to help them stay in the neighborhood and make money. On January 21st, the initiative held its first Design Day, where local business owners who have served the community for several years were able to meet with architects free of charge to discuss and design improvements for their storefronts. The main goal of Main Street programs, you get a lot of, do a lot of facade work. Mm -hmm. um, so we get a lot of funding each year to go out and work with the businesses uh, and to give them some, some kind of matching funds to redo the outside because if it looks better from the outside, more people are going to want to come to the area. It's going to be safer and, and cleaner just by default then. For the first time, the Main Street Initiative recently brought six owners of businesses within a block radius of each other together with architects to collectively improve facades in the area. Gilbert Pons, the owner of an antiques and upholstery store that opened in 1971 in Frankfurt and is now located on Frankfurt Avenue near Orthodox Street, said he participated in the Design Day program because he fell in love with the architecture of his store's current building. The buildings are really kind of unique. Each building is kind of different. Our, our building is kind of uh, an interesting building. Uh, the details of the original, when the building was originally built, is still here. We just need to bring back the colors and a little more details. Fernando Torres owns Mark My Flesh, a tattoo shop on Frankfurt and Orthodox, as well as Dream Girls Fashion Boutique next door. There was a tattoo parlor here prior to us, and they were here since like 2000. And still people, uh, they come here and they say, I didn't know there was a tattoo shop here. Aside from the aesthetic reasons for improving his facade, Torres says he has a practical reason as well. His tattoo parlor, located on the corner, has been crashed into by vehicles on three separate occasions since he opened the store two years ago. And we're like, we're in a side street, I think, in the front, new facade, and right on the avenue makes it more visible for the oncoming. You know. There's a lot of traffic, especially here in Orthodox. Next week, the architects will supply business owners with renderings of possible facade improvements. From there, Hannes will help them apply for grants to make the possibilities reality. Because, you know, once there's, there's one business in the middle of three that didn't want to participate, well, when this business owner sees that the two on the side of them and the one to the right of them have all this magnificent work done, then hopefully they'll invest in their store. Morgan Zalot, Philadelphia Neighborhoods, Frankfurt.